Hi, I'm Protocol. This is Antioch Chronicles, episode two, uh, mission five, the Highlanders. Mox and Anduin, low on resources, head north into the mountains. So we're sticking with, uh, sticking with the Terrans in this case, and not Gurney, I mean. Why did they introduce Rockwell as a character just to not ever see him again? All right, man. I figure Trench is going to take a while, so in the meantime, we might as well prepare ourselves in case things get ugly. Unfortunately, we're fresh out of money and fresh out of weapons. Suggestions? Well, why not head to the Highlands? There's plenty of minerals and rock ass up there near the old abandoned mining camps. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to like the way you think, friend. You heard him. Let's pack it up. We've got a long trek up to the mountains ahead of us. Well, no real characterization as to what to expect from the Highlands. But I like, I'm thinking, if I had to guess, my prediction for this mission, based on the briefing and based on what the Highlands are, is like, we're going to be fighting against like pirates and stuff. And if I were trying to think of like a way to characterize the pirates or something, I would want like constant banter between characters, like transmissions between the, uh, like there would be like some pirate leader, right? Who would be like a, a basically like an, uh, avatar for the pirates themselves. So like, th he's like, a the, uh, like, a, almost like a cliche in some ways of, like, whatever the pirates are, he's, like, them as a character, like, manifested into a single entity. Like, he's, like, their their poster boy or something like that. And you, like, interact with him in some way, and you're fighting him. Like, that would be neat. Uh, but I don't, I have no idea. I've never played this, this mission before. Or I have probably a long time ago, but I completely forgot about it, because I didn't even, I don't remember this mission at all. So we'll, we'll see what happens. We have to establish a mining camp in the Tornado Highlands, and all heroes must survive. So I, I'm hoping for something like that, where there's a lot of banter. Oh, okay. I thought there was a transmission. Did someone page me? Wait, I'm reading the minefield dead ahead. Ah, don't worry. Seen this kind of thing before. I have just the thing to take care of it. That was almost a little too convenient. Well, hello there. Well, we took two steps and immediately got into a cutscene, so that's pretty not exciting. I'm, not, I'm really not a fan of the whole, like, take two steps, get a cutscene thing. I was actually, I think this is the mission where Necron was like, he was in a call with me while he was, um, changing stuff in this mission and creating his end version. And uh, I'm pretty sure this is the mission where you get, like, cutscene every single, every single five moments. So I'm really not looking forward to that. Forward to that. Gone north. Last chance to turn back now. Don't say we didn't warn you. Okay. So, like, we read that off of a post, but our characters have nothing... Nothing to say about it. Does this guy have, like, no speed or something? What's going on here? Feels like he's really slow. Compared to other vultures. Well, we can't. We we have killed other Terrans with no dialogue, but even no reaction to even our characters. Like I would expect, like, oh, the, these Marines are part of something, or they would say something, like, oh, we're. Oh, really? Rainer doesn't have a speed upgrade, but well, that's funny. It's probably something to do with like the. Oh wait, no. I guess upgrades are. I don't know. Maybe they are hard coded. What a goofball unit. I'll do it for a case of scotch. Oh. Where does it hurt? Oh, I'm doing it. Look, it's Ian. He's returned. How are you, laddie? Not as fine as you, apparently. Looks like you've got your bike fixed, eh? Aye, that I did. Any more pirate raids? Yes, why do we have... This morning. Well, we're still trying to repair the damage. We'd be beholden to you if you could help. Uh, excuse me. Anduin, could I have a word with you? What is it? What's this I hear about pirates? The pirates he's talking about have been harassing my village for a long time now. Ever since the Dominion first centralized control of Tornard 3 in the larger spaceport. These mountains ain't exactly safe. And let me guess, you brought us up here just in case we might be able to make them a little safer. Well, if you would help my village, you can mine the area in peace. Alongside our village, of course. I 
I told you nothing was free, mate. Well, you can't blame me, friend. <laughs> yeah, suppose I can't. So, will you stay and fight? Oh, no worries. I've been through tougher spots before. That's what I like to hear. Hey, Crowley, get the power back on in the old command center. We're gonna kick some pirate tail tonight. Great. Give me a moment. Me and my men will move on ahead to scout the enemy's position. You can use the transports we still have left to get up onto the ridge. We'll be waiting for your signal. Right. Right. Why are all these... I'm starting to get hungry. Is that enough meat for you? I'm afraid we don't have much in the way of resources. We only have a few deposits, and they're not too deep at that. Maybe you can look for a spot up north. Commander, I'll say 10,000 minerals. Oh, no. Okay. Let's move. Well, I don't know why there were so many Ursidon sounds every time I was like. I'm sure that was very obvious to. Wait, where the fuck is Mox? Oh, he just left? We didn't even have a cutscene of him leaving. Why did he... He just... He's gone. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck for all the cutscenes they had? Well, I wasn't... I wasn't wrong about the pirates. But I was wrong about them having any characterization whatsoever. They're just generic pirates that exist for some reason. And then we have Crowley, who's a new character, who doesn't seem like he's doing anything. He's just a fucking civilian. It's cool that we have actual civilians, but there are. It's cool that there are civilians. I don't know why we own them, per se. Um, hmm. Don't be the first outpost. Fire up the barbie, mates. I think there's gonna be a whole lot of roasting going on. All right. Let's get into position. Shut up! Well, Stop fucking Ursadoning me, Jesus Christ! Where is that one? Where's the one that roared? Where is it? I'll just assume it's that one. Murder them all. Alright, well we'll just keep uh What? We're in position. Let's move. What? Apparently you don't. What the fuck? Did someone page me? What is going on? Why do we have a yellow medic and a green one? Does it move the plot? I have no idea. Let's get rid of this bunk barracks. Bunker, I don't know what it is. Bye. This is such a weird... <laughs> well, my main goal will be to get some upgrades. Oh, don't worry. I will never fiddle with you ever. Stop fiddling, please. Alright. What do we have up here? A science facility? Cool. Why do these guys have a science facility exactly? It's not explained. What if I panned back up here and Mox was getting destroyed by a bunch of vultures? That'd be funny. That was pretty cool. Ah. That was funny. Hey, don't blow that up. Hey, stop it. Oh, my. Tony. Alright, well, whatever. 
Your forces are under attack. I think we've successfully destroyed this space, by the way. Not quite sure what, uh, what leads me to believe that madness. What? What are you healing? Um. Wowie. Yeah, I don't know why they're doing this. They say that they're low on resources, but I would have, I would have expected more like something along the lines of, "Hey, we need." Uh, I don't even know what I would have expected, honestly. Something like. Hey, here's Trench is back, and he's telling us what when what was going on, what happened. Okay, that's what happened. Let's uh, now we need resources so we can fight back against the per people who did that bad stuff. I'm gonna use these civilians as scouts. And uh, I don't know, that would have been something. Why is there only one path? Hi. Oh I'm shit, they're upgrading! All right. More than I can say about myself. Is that the only geyser in this entire area? Seems that way. Alright, let's finish mining this area out and then we'll uh, transfer the lift off and move over to that one. Better than building an entirely new command center. But again, thinking of like characterization of the setting, right? You don't really get a whole lot of that. In this. It's like, we're in a new area. We're in the Bora Dallas area, some planet called Todd or something, and we don't really get anything. Like, no... There's nothing really super... Interesting about this whole thing. Feast your eyes. I don't know. It just feels like there could be a lot more going on. That's what. It, bottom line. Yes, sir. Orders, Captain. Orders received. Affirmative. I read you. SCP, good to go, sir. Affirmative. At any rate, we've destroyed this red base completely. I don't know if there's going to be more later on. What's the story? I don't know. You tell me, dude. You're the main character. Huh. Wait, how did these Ursadon get back here? I killed them all. What a goober. Do we even have a barracks down here? Yeah, we do. I guess we'll make a couple more of those. Maybe a bunker. Okay. So. Stop fiddling. We've taken the first outpost. Three to go. Okay. Wait for Mox's team to get in a position. Now he's just completely gone. Bye. Oh, I wonder if we keep the same... Like, uh... If the same units... Um, will, like, carry over or something. So if we keep enough units alive in the... Uh first section or something, then we have a better chance in the next one. That would be neat. Upgrade I don't necessarily know that they're going to do that, but it would be neat. Anyways, this is like the place where we're going to... There's a trigger that spawns Ursidons. Please say no. Um, this is going to be where we, most of our stuff is. We can't build air units, notably, in this mission, so that's something of a characterization of their technology, which is nice. Alright, destroy the northeast outpost. Hey, by the way, we're already attacking for some reason. I'm gonna build a missile turret in case we get attacked by any air units over here. And then I'm gonna build a factory because we need siege mode. 
which is fine. It's um, I think it's a, it's good to have if you're gonna have like micro shit like this happen or whatever. It's like kind of neat to have like the idea that uh, oh, if you actually like invest in your macro section, you'll have some ability in the um. Like, some benefit will come to you in the micro section. You know, like getting upgrades and getting stuff like that. Like, that's cool. Add some degree of permanence. I don't even think the, these units defend. I think they just have area town scripts. It's kind of boring. I can just sit here and chop away at them. Kron will defend, because he has, has an actual AI, but... I don't know. Not not much. Okay, so let's scan over here. Uh, it looks like there's a base over there. I would like to take that out as soon as possible. And also, no, they clearly do. They do not uh, give a shit. Why? Why? Stop it. Fuck. Well, whatever. No. Holy shit. This is far away. Hmm. I'm sure there's like another... Another something. Oh yeah, I don't complete. Let's get some siege mode. Really. Commander, go go go! Identify target. There's got to be another expansion we can take somewhere. All right, this way. Well, I guess there doesn't have to be, but you would think so, based on the mission objectives. All right, this way. I should also get that movement speed upgrade for vultures because it will work on Ian as well. Is it wartime already? Hmm. Yeah, I figured. What's the story? You can just use these medics. Attack move. Oh shit. They have upgrades or something? No. I think they just all focused in on the same guy. Yeah, easy. Destroyed. Now we'll have siege mode. But again, they don't build anything, so it's like, why even bother? Our outposts also never get attacked. Over here, a tank, a couple tanks. Why are they chasing the SCV? <laughs> what the shit? Quality. Oh yeah, let me get my vulture movement speed. Yeah, Red has no main town. Pretty sick. Well, and... Yeah, we don't have to build any defenses or anything. It's pretty... Pretty lame. Alright, I think we got all of the units that were... Supposedly... In this area. Get him, tank. Oh shit. Better watch out, there are actual enemies over here. Wowie. Oh. I hit P instead of O. Oh, P. Looks like this is it, right? Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of the way, dummy. Sixty-nine. Oh shit, it's over. What's the story? All right, let's move it. Oh, there's a lot of gas. Moving. 
We're halfway there, mates. We've still got two bases to take out. Spare me. You need my assistance? Can you not get through here? Well, I guess not. Don't be fiddling with me now. Orders, Captain? Okay, so you guys are gonna fly in this direction. Orders, Captain? Right away, sir. Oops. Not what I'm gonna do. All right. Well, I guess I'll build an armory. Just kidding. LOL. Can we get? We can't get starport, so we can't like move around workers, which is kind of a shame. Yeah, well, that's what I plan to do. Necron's telling me um, some shit in the chat about I can. The victory condition is also. What are you doing? Get over here, idiot! Hey, I'm just killing the Ursidons, asshole. Center view, by the way. Oh, okay. The North Canyon outpost, by the way. Where is he getting these units from? Like, if we had secured these units from the, the pirates or something earlier, that would be cool. You know? Better than just them spawning out of the fucking ether. Which is what the, what's going on right now. Wow, we what a bunch of assholes. How are you guys still shooting stuff? I expected this base to be leveled. Pick this guy, just build the command center. Well, that's it. That actually is it. It's over. For them. Where does it hurt? Base is under Alright, so I guess we'll just uh, mine from here for the time being. Story is. Fill in the blanks, I guess. I don't know. Alright, let's save. Oh, these guys had to fly all the way up here, apparently. Center view. Mind if I ask you a question? Go ahead, laddie. Just where the hell are you from? Huh? Your accent. It doesn't make any sense. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not Scottish. It's not Irish. Hell, it's not even vaguely British. What's British? Ugh, never mind. So self-aware and funny, haha, -ha, lol. Get me out. Please. Well, at any rate, we have another expansion. Very kind of them to give it to us. I don't know. I feel like there's, uh, there's something missing here. SCB good to go, sir. I guess we need to start building up some more factories and stuff. I guess we need to center view.
Dude, they didn't even fucking use the bunker trigger in that area. <laughs> yeah, that's embarrassing. Why? Hey, look, we can see the drop shot. Oh, wait, can I rescue them? I don't even know if green is a rescuable player. I'm yellow, so maybe they were just giving them there. I don't know, I don't know what's going on, dude. All I know is maybe we'll get Mox's army after this and it'll be a piece of cake. But his army hasn't been fucking consistent this entire time, so. Yeah, just make some factories, make an armory over here. I haven't had to build any supply depots either. I'm going to have to if I start producing actual numbers of units. Right. So, I, get, I mean, there's really not a whole lot to talk about with the strategy because the missions are so easy and straightforward. And there's really not a whole lot to talk about the plot because this mission doesn't feel like it even belongs in the same campaign. Like, you look at intent, right? Um... Art is, like, I don't know, there's, I, I just look at this and I don't see the reason why this mission exists. Like, I don't know what the antenna actually was. Also, now I'm kind of laughing at myself because I made the, uh, the mistake of building a uh, factory on the high ground over there on the right, and obviously it didn't end particularly well. Let's get this over with. Smash. Oh yeah, we drew out all of the units that were outside the bunker, by the way. So I guess, uh, I don't know. If we were to keep going with that pirate idea, right? Like, it's not anything particularly novel, but at least there would be some interaction with a character, because obviously the, the mission is really, really easy. So... Like, there's no... I, I don't know. There's just, there could have been so much more to this. And ends up being an... It's really bizarre to me that it didn't end up actually having... There was nothing. It didn't do anything. Cool. Well, we've almost achieved the uh, Float Minerals goal, Age of Empires style, so... Maybe we just do that, honestly. <laughs> we do have the dropships now, which is nice. So we do get to link everything together. I mean, I understand why people thought that Antioch was a cut above, uh, looking back at everything. But the overall set up here like there just doesn't seem to be a whole lot of moving parts and there i feel like there should have been more moving parts and it comes right down to it so i don't know if the i don't know what the tech level is of brown i don't know if they get locked down or something so i'll go ahead and grab restoration in case i need to use it uh, let's see over here you guys are doing nothing so See. Oh, they have another expansion up here. So this is where we would take these tanks. Mm. 
Start uh, dropping on him. Something on your mind? No problem. Yeah, go ahead. Order scouting. Right away, sir. SCB, good to go, sir. Order for C, you can't build it. Something's in the way. Okay, so. Go ahead, HQ. I'm listening. Oops. That one was way too close. Ah, Sandra Fox, our SCB, good to go, sir. All right, we've done it. Ha! Not even close. Idiot. I think I have a lot of uh, a lot of scanner sweeps, man. Oh shit! That made him think twice. Oh no, they've been dropping. Oh, they, they did drop. Ah, they've lost interest. Oh, they're defense units. I wonder where they were. Very strange. Oh, we know that they're busy defending themselves now, so we should be able to make a, a break for their main. Look at all these fucking Spider-Men. Get them out of here. Hey, come on. Plant the mine, dummy. Alright. Yeah, the last mission doesn't even feel like that much of a victory lap or anything. It's just like, uh, I guess it's here for a reason. Couldn't really tell you what that reason is, though. Oh, shit. My worst fear has come true. Oh wait, I have a marine here. What am I doing? I like how we can build nukes in this mission, but not air units. <laughs> it's like something you never see a combo of. Like, oh yeah. Are you even building anything out of this? No. Thanks. Holy moly. So, is it all buildings? Or is it all production? Presumably all buildings, because... Nobody knew how to... Use factories instead of buildings. Oh, that was a nice dud. <laughs> Just didn't even go off. Alright, whatever. We got them all. Get them out of here. Oh, um, there might be something up here. No. Bye. No? No bye? What else do they have? Oh. Fucking right away. Well, we have 10,000 minerals. We, I think we have to do both. That's funny. Ah, there can be only one. What do you mean by that? <laughs> I don't know. Sword in a movie. Jesus once. fucking Christ, you got me again. Stop it.
Nice ending, by the way. Really ties everything home. So, like, you see how there is no characterization of the pirates? It's completely lifeless. There is nothing there. It would have been so much better if we were fighting somebody. Even if there wasn't an actual player, like, a, or an antagonist or whatever, like an actual character heading them uh, that, that was communicating. Although it would make sense. You'd think a pirates would have some leader. But it, the, the one enemy line that we got was just somebody putting on a pirate accent. It's like completely... Like, even if you're going to characterize them like that, at least do it consistently and more than just once. You know what I mean? Like, there's just nothing. They they don't get characterized by the challenge that they've put up uh, put against us, right? Because they're not, it's not a challenge. And they don't get characterized by anything from the, the game itself. Like, it doesn't... There's no character to them. Instead, we're just like... Sort of doing stuff, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's not like everybody's a feral zergling, you know? Like, when you're fighting feral zerg, there's not really a whole lot of characterization you can do there. But when you're fighting pirates, other sentient human beings, that's, like, way, way different. And even when you're fighting a cerebrate, like in the previous mission, or two missions ago, rather, th that would be something, too, that you could explore. But you, there's just nothing there. You don't get any characterization there. It's really unfortunate. Uh, anyways, that mission was, uh, as, as far as gameplay goes, it was... You know, obviously there was the gimmick, um, but it was more satisfying to play than the micro missions. So there's that, I guess. That, that's my review. Bye.